Friends, good afternoon, dear friends. Please listen to the chronicle of events from the front line about the news in the ATO area and military exercises. Near Lugansk yesterday, there were uh, 10 cases of ceasefire violations and half of them in Popasnyansk district after the first AM, the militants opened fire from mortars over northern and eastern suburbs of Popasna and over Ukrainian positions near Nova Alexandrovka having launched 10 mines. In the morning, our um, positions near Troitsk were shelled where the enemies used mortars, um, anti-infantry uh, vehicles and small arms. Uh, and and in the evening hours, late and late at night, uh, there were two short time military provocations in Papasnyansky district. In late night, the um, attempt of provocation was near Novotoshkevsky along the Bakhmut Highway uh, when the anti tank grenade launchers were used to provoke Ukrainian forces, but uh, we did not open fire in response. And and then they uh, became silent. Uh, near uh, Novaidar, the occupants violated ceasefire regime once, uh, having launched 15 mines uh, over Krimsky positions. Uh, uh, near Donetsk, at the Svetlodarsk bridge, the situation became uh, more aggravated. Uh, near Lugansk, there were more than five hours shelling, then tank and mortar shellings were here. Uh, at the sunrise uh, time, the militants used mortars and armored vehicles, and after 11, they carried out 16 shellings from tank and uh, then after sunset, sunset, uh, there was artillery and mortar shelling once again, and then one more tank shelling. Then there is a uh, uh, fighting near Golivka at the northern borders uh, here at daytime, and uh, at daytime the small arms are used by enemies and uh, heavy weaponry at nighttime. During the last 24 hours uh, around Golivka along the perimeter, there were 75, uh, 75 mines launched near Novhorodsk. Yesterday there was a Vaka exchange with the use of small arms and grenade launch in Verkhnya Turetsk, unlike in the previous days, there was quiet. Military actions are very active in Avdiivka and uh, in Kamivka, Kamenka and Savtabutivka position. Uh, last 24 hours, the enemy was actively using tanks. Uh, they launched more than 40 shells from the tanks. The number of the launched mines at this section of the front was more than 170. The shellings by the enemy lasted during 24 hours, and the result of military uh, of the enemy's shellings, the FDFK again is without electricity supply, the brigades of electric uh, engineers are waiting for uh, stopping of the shellings by the militants and are ready to start the repair of the lines of electric electricity supply in the reservoirs of the city. There's a certain uh, um, reserve of water which was uh, um, accumulated there after the uh, resuming of the operation of the um, filtration station near Donetsk airport, the enemy was very active in Pisky. They were shelling three times at Ukrainian possessions, uh, positions in uh, nearby Nevelsk. The shelling from uh, uh, the enemy sniper was uh, registered uh, uh, during the 24 hours in the Donetsk direction. There was 46 enemy shelling, 31 of them from heavy weaponry, Mariupolsky direction during the last 24 hours in Mariinsky district. Uh, there was one fire exchange using armored um, equipment and grenade launchers near the Kuchevsk and further to the south, there was uh, absolutely quiet. Uh, instead, uh, the section of the front from Pavlopil to Sirokina, the situation is without changes. The fire exchange lasts during the whole 24 hours. The most concerning is the situation 
to the east of Mariupol in the morning in Vodina and Sorokin, and the enemy was uh, firing from tanks at these there and also in Gnutovo yesterday the militants were shelling from mortars actively using armored equipment and also uh, the sniper rifles in total in Mariupolsky direction there were 43 enemy shelling 13 of them from heavy weaponry registered during the last 24 hours uh, not a single Ukrainian serviceman was killed five were wounded the servicemen of the 2nd Galitska Brigade of National Guards of Ukraine participated in tactical special training. During the training, the National Guards worked on coordination and practical uh, uh, firing from Kalashnikov machine gun and uh, also anti-tank grenade launcher. That is the all the information. If you have questions, you're welcome. Channel 5, in total, how many cases of, uh, uh, how many violations were that they were registered? 110 shillings, 50 of them from heavy weapons. Thank you, Colonel. If you have no more questions, this is it. Thank you.